All right, you guys, welcome back. And this is Tech Time with Coyote and C Money right here. And uh, just want to let you guys know, you just watched a segment of the Carlmont. You saw Pescadero. You saw Mount Diablo. You also got to see the shop at uh, J&M Hobbies, which was, uh, that was done through C Money. C Money set that up. I, we appreciate that, man. No problem, no problem. So you saw what we did as a team to destroy these trucks the best way possible. I mean, you saw just straight destruction, but at the same time, you saw a great amount of fun. A lot of stuff, you didn't see us laughing so much behind the camera. But I wanted to bring everyone here to tell of James, what did you think of the whole situation we went through, man? Oh, I thought it was great. I mean, it was a good time, good trucks, good friends. I mean, every time we go out, we always have fun. Yeah, we had come back with a parts list, but Coyote's got it covered. Yeah, there you go. Los, man, what'd you think, man? Uh, overall, had a great time. Bombers kicked butt. Uh, I like how everything's set up differently. We're seeing what each other's trucks can and can't do. Uh, we are breaking servos every single day. Uh, Savox, they're doing all right, but we are stripping their gears. I uh, just found out that I cannot run a HD Savo servo, 20 HD servo on this with the uh, Castle Creations ESC. The internal BEC cannot handle the power being pulled out. So I'm going to need to run an external BEC to run this new servo on the bomber. And see, just like that right there, that's great. You see, we're, we're testing, like Jay will say, we're testing so hard that we're learning about in external, internal BECs. I mean, a lot of things that are, are going on out there. Jay, man, what do you think of this whole segment, bro? Man, it's another great one of the, the machine and man out there and seeing what these rigs could do, looking up to their name, Bombers. They're just sending them that day and they were taking it. It was a fun time. We also got to, if you saw um, James's young son, Ryan, Got to hang out there and was doing some lines that just blew us away man that kid can crawl man shouts out to your son man ryan with all that said man I, one thing i wanted to talk about was you know tires in this in this hobby is like a big talk and these cheap tires right here the showdowns they did a hell of a job if i ever bought another set of tires it's going to be them because i mean we spent over 200 dollars over here on the outside of this table i will buy another pair there you go. We probably all will. You know, tire testing on this show has been something we're going to get into more deeper, but that is the cheapest. Ch Jay, tell them what you thought of this tire, man. They work. They definitely work. They look good, and they're ready to run when you get them. They're already pre-glued. They look like beadlock style, but uh, they're ready to go, and it's a capable tire for sure. And the credit card on the other side over there, that thing, all Vanquish, that shows you right there, if you just bought Vanquish and you just... If you were just respecting your vehicle, not like how we were beating the hell out of it, that thing would last forever. You know, we, we told you we buy a hundred dollar servo once a month. We bought the Holmes Hobby, and then James, what um hundred dollar servo did you put in there? I I want to say it's the twenty fifty. I'm not too sure. It's the solo. It's the twelve ten SG Servox servo, fully waterproof. It was a hundred hundred and ten dollars. And uh, that thing's held up so far. It's the only one I've had in here long enough to actually run it and have fun and enjoy the truck without blowing everything apart. Underwater, smashed against rocks for days on end <laughs> with a dampener. I'm telling you, that is a great buy right there. If you've learned anything from this bomber segment is that servo, we went through servos like crazy. Actually, not me. I put a gang of weights on my servo because I was trying to cheat with the Spectrum. I got weights all over the front of this vehicle, stick weights. And uh, this one held up, and uh, the wire got pulled out, but we were able to put it back in there. But uh, that servo is one of the, the tests of time right there through this whole situation. I've gone through four. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that's saving this servo is I put a servo saver on it. Otherwise, I probably would have blown it apart the last trip to Mount Diablo. <laughs> and that, I mean, it, pros and cons. Guys, what do you guys want to tell the people of the world what you thought and what you don't like about these trucks? Um, I'm all positive, honestly. I think it was a great buy. I'm having fun with the truck. Uh, stock servos, not so good. Have a couple servos on hand when you go out and have fun. And uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with this one right now. Point out the shocks, the stabilizer. Uh, torque twist, if you're having that problem with the bomber. Uh, Chris likes to go with this, but he's broken about six. eight. It's only because six. I'm cheap. I'm mad cheap. Uh, that's it. This takes care of that, hands down. Test it, try it. I've tested, I've tried it. I'm sticking with this. 
No more torque twist at all. Hey, Million Dollar Man, tell him about what you after, got going on. After watching his truck on what he can do with the dual shocks, don't don't be afraid. They do work. I put air shocks in the back with the pro, with the power strokes on there, and it made a huge difference. No more sway bar on it. I'm not bottoming out no more. Plus, I've added probably about six more pounds to what this truck came out of the box. So it, it's pretty heavy. But, I mean, it, it works. It does the job. It's fun. They're quick. I mean, we've done a lot of upgrades to them. But uh, I, st I still like my scale truck. But don't get me wrong. When I want to go out and bash and break some stuff and have some fun, I'm going straight to the bomber. You heard it from here, man. Highway ones off one crawlers. On that note, we're gonna take this camera and bring it closer to show you the trick we learned through these two guys on the on the trail. Fix a servo. I've never seen nothing. I, I don't know if you guys seen that, but watch this. We're about to show you guys something cool. We're gonna take the camera and we're gonna flip it down. All right, how's it going, guys? I want to bring you in here real quick, show you guys what we did out on the field to get this thing back up and running with stripped gears, so he'd be able to walk it out instead of carrying it out. <laughs> Right now, you're gonna re remove all four screws out the back of the servo. And then after that, you'll go ahead and remove the top off of it. Which is usually gonna be that middle gear. What we've come to see over the past six, seven, eight <laughs> servos. But this is with only metal gear servos only. I don't think we've done this with a plastic servo. No. Yet. I don't think a plastic servo will hold up to what we're doing. <laughs> I've never even opened one up, so that's just to let people okay. know. Now when you go ahead and crack this top off, you're gonna have three sets of gears inside there. You wanna look at your middle gear is the one that's usually the one that's stripped out. And there you go. It's already missing about six, seven teeth out of it. And got two bent. So what you're gonna do, and this for instance, you're gonna go ahead and rotate it 360 degrees and put it back in. You're only gonna use between seven to 14 teeth of that gear. So if you can keep an eye on it, don't oversteer your truck, you'll be able to put that servo back together and drive your vehicle back home again. So at least this way you'll make it out of there without having to carry it out of there. And this was done twice. It was done at um, Pescadero and done at Mount Diablo. That is a great it. trick. You just follow your steps in reverse, put everything back in place, tighten your screws down. It, nine times out of ten, I'll do it in the truck. It's not even worth taking it out of the truck. Just get it back out <laughs> on the field. Should be good to go. Yep. You'll be able to make it back out, go wheel the rest of the day. As long as you're a little easy on your on your steering, you'll be able to go home and say that you had a good time. And by the, ten, by the time you get a chance, go ahead and order another servo up. But what's easy when you're with the Highway 1 RC? <laughs> like right there. Hey, thank you guys for taking the time to show that, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this show. Get ready for more. All good. See you later. Can't wait to break another one out on the field. <laughs> All right, you guys. You just saw Tech Time at its best. And to let you know, we're not done yet at all. You thought we were finished? I want to take two at Carlmont. Throwing the brush motor back in. I broke my servo last time, and I did not get to enjoy myself at all. So I'm going back, taking the brushless motor out because my brush motor was keeping up with these brushless guys here and i'm going to show you what it's all about and and that that's going to be great at the same time that day was the first day of this event and it, and it with all the breaks it threw everything off but what you guys didn't see is behind the scenes we spent a lot of money on the internet on amazon cracking up dying laughing we were buying parts on the trail <laughs> on the trail but we're not done yet we've got the long range pass right long range pass sorry y'all because i can't speak properly but we sending this thing to New York, all right? Oh, yes, yeah, right, B and C. That's for you, bro. Just to play with. Don't forget, you gotta send it back. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to see you guys out on the trail. Later. <laughs> all right, guys, just to keep you guys updated on the brakes and updates of new products we're trying out right now. Finally, the servo just went out on the King, bro. The Tactic servo, I believe it's called, right, Jay? Yeah. Tactic just went out and we've been literally on this thing for like a month and a half and the Traxxas servo went out and uh you know that that happens you can't you can't stop that from happening one thing i did want to talk about is customer service i called in for the customer service on this um within it's already getting mailed in this one i have to go find my receipt it has a one-year manufacturer's warranty as soon as i can find my receipt they're going to mail me a, a a servo as well but um you know, it's gonna take a little bit more time, which is not bad. But at the end of the day, both these companies went out their way to make sure that I got a new servo. You know, uh, the servo went out on this. 
but this now belongs to uh, James and Ryan. This is Ryan's vehicle, actually. They are. They are, had already put in the Power HD, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's what we're probably going to end up doing with these two after we try the stock servos one more time. This is also Ryan's vehicle, and they just put the Intigy uh, front bumper, bull bars, and the Intigy uh, winch. And this I wanted to make sure that we showed you guys because uh, I've been running nothing but the Warren winches since I started this with Jay. And Jay, um, tell him what do you, you think of that right there? This one has a steel cable. It's gonna be a little stronger than your like shoelace style one, obviously, but uh, it's an upgrade definitely right there. And this one, more this scale. one is a lot more stronger than the Warren one. I believe the the Warren one looks more scale. The Warren winch, people would probably say that, and you know. There's a bad taste in people's mouth with the Intigy, but I'll tell you this, not this product. We've seen this thing in action. This thing's torquey. It's not a wireless button. It has a manual switch inside, but it does the job. That's one, that's one uh, product there, right there, the Highway 1 Off 1 Crawlers recommend. So with that said, we'll probably get these two back on the road, and hopefully in the future we'll have footage of this thing pulling someone out of a sticky situation. Jay, anything you want to talk about these products before we take off? Man, they all look good. They all work good. If you want to upgrade, definitely give these uh, give them a shot. Give them a shot, and hopefully we'll get Ryan on here soon out on the trail to tell you about his wraith. There's a lot of a lot going on with this vehicle right here, but we want him to tell you about it. Definitely. All right, you guys. Hope to see you out on the trail.